teacher contracts. So you have been looking for a teaching position. Maybe you're a new teacher, especially new teachers. You really need to listen to this. <laughs> so you're looking for a teaching position. When you're a new teacher, you pretty much will take anything because you just want to find a job. So <laughs> be very careful and think long and hard before you sign that contract, before you commit to that school. Um, contracts are very serious. You could lose your license over them, your teaching license, your teaching certification. So you need to make sure that if you accept a contract that you intend on fulfilling the commitment to that contract. Um, when you go for your interview, what I would do, what I would suggest a new teacher or anyone, but especially new teachers, is when you go to your interview, if you really don't know much about the school, if you've only heard things about it, I would ask to look around the school, say, oh, can I visit a classroom? Can I see some of the students? Because you want to see what really goes on in that school. Because what you see in the front office, what you see in the room when you go for your interview, isn't always what's going on in that classroom. You want to make sure that it's a good fit for you, that you're going to fit in around there. Um, we all, I know we all want to teach. When you first start teaching, it's like, oh, I just want a teaching job. I don't care what I teach. But eventually you'll learn that everybody has like a fit, a certain fit, like things that they do like to teach and things that they don't like to teach. And if there's something you really don't like to teach, it will show. You don't think it will, but it will because kids can tell what you're passionate about and what you're not. So you need to be careful. You don't want to be trapped in a school that you don't want to be. You don't want to be in an environment that's not good for you. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to those kids. So you really need to think about it. So don't just like take the first job that comes along. I mean, if it's a good fit for you, of course take it. But think about it first. Don't just say, yes, I accept and sign a contract right then. Um, you really need to think about it. You will be given a salary. Most teachers in Georgia were given a salary plus a supplement. So depending on what county you're in, it could be totally different amounts. You could go from one county, like where I'm at in Athens, Clark County, you can go from Clark County to places in Atlanta, and Atlanta would pay more money because the supplements are higher, but um, you might not be happy with the school you're at. I mean, it's really a personal thing. It's for you to decide where you want to teach at. Um, don't burn yourself out. Make sure that you're happy. Like, that's the most important thing. Your first year of teaching, of course, you're going to be nervous. You're going to have some failures. That is so normal is normal. You will, that will always happen. None of us are perfect. But don't burn yourself out and make yourself not enjoy teaching because you are somewhere that you don't really enjoy or that you feel like you don't belong at. Um, you need to find a good fit for you. So there will be a salary plus a supplement. So that's something to take into consideration because some people have to move. I talked to a lot of college students, um, previous student teachers, things like that. And they were talking about how, you know, they came to Athens to go to the University of Georgia and they're looking for teaching positions close to their hometowns where they're from. A lot of them are from South Georgia and from small towns. And like the small town that I was from, that I am from, Madison County is very small. There are not as many opportunities for teaching positions there as there are in bigger cities like Athens, Clark County and Atlanta. So sometimes it's hard to find jobs in those smaller counties and sometimes people will just take any job just to get a job. So you need to look at the supplements. You need to think about housing. How much is it going to cost for you to live in that city? Because some of the students that I talk to that are in college now that are doing their student teaching, they have been offered positions, but when they start looking at housing and how much it's going to cost to live there, even with roommates, it is ridiculous. Like closer to Atlanta, it is ridiculous the amount of money you have to pay just for like a tiny little apartment. So think about that. Think about housing. Is it affordable? Can you afford it? Is it something you can do? Don't get on the struggle bus because you're going to be struggling enough when you get in your classroom. <laughs> um, also, if you do sign a contract, when you sign a contract, when you do sign your contract, you do have until a certain date to break that contract without any type of penalty. So I know in my district, you have until June something. It's like the middle or the end of June. So you could go ahead and sign your contract. But if something happened between now and June, 
and you were offered a position somewhere else that you wanted, like maybe something that you've never thought about and it just came open and you didn't realize it and you're like, oh, I want to go teach here. I want to teach the subject or whatever. Then you can break your contract with no penalties. But think long and hard before you do that because just remember that they take that seriously. When you sign a contract, you're saying, yes, I think that I will be here. I So they count on you. Those students count on you. They think they have a teacher for that position. So don't wait until the last minute. So if you are going to accept another position and you're going to break a contract, don't wait till the last minute. Go ahead, be up front and let them know. Accept your contract and then let the other people know that you need to break your contract as soon as possible so that an acceptable teacher can be found to fill your position. Um, also, you need to think about, is this somewhere you really want to be? Now, if you're in a school system and you're at a school that maybe is not a good fit for you, give it a try first. And then if it's still not a good fit for you, you can transfer in the county. Normally, they only let you do that like at the end of the school year before the next school year begins. But that is an option. So you can ask to be transferred. Um, some school systems do this and most do. So I would think about that also. So these are just a few things to think about before you sign that teacher contract. Congratulations on getting your first teacher contract. Just make sure it's the right decision for you. Thanks for watching our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to teach a latte.